Hey guys and welcome back! So today I decided to show you how to make a golden snitch even if it's for a little figurine or for a cake topper you're not gonna need anything more than just polymer clay today a needle tool and an exacto knife first off we're gonna start with a big ball of polymer clay and the smaller one we're just gonna make tiny 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 tubes out of it so that we can decorate uh, the snitch I decided to use a matte color this time because I want to put little pigments that I have on top of it. But if you have gold colored or glitter colored polymer clay, you can just use that. To me there is no right or wrong way to do the swirls on the golden snitch, but just make sure that afterwards it's gonna it's gonna look good. Now that our ball is done, we can start working on the wings. And it's very easy, you just use any kind of silver or gray polymer clay. I'm just using the matte gray here because I told you I'm going to put on pigments on it. So you cut it in two equal halves. And next we're just going to shape it in form of wings. One thing to be careful about is not to make them too thick, but not too thin. Because if you want to make it a keychain or a figurine, they're going to easily break if they're too thin. So as you can see now, I'm scoring them with my needle tool. Nothing fancy, you can see. And I'm just adding little tiny details with the tip of the needle tool. And you do that for both of them. So now I'm just adding little dots on the golden snitch just to give it a little more detail. You can think of it as a steampunk sort of way of, of making it. And after we're done with this, we're just gonna have to attach the wings. Remember that the wings are pointed upwards. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that and you saw how I switched the, the, the places. 
So when you attach it, just try to give them a curvature of some kind to make it look like uh, they're in, in flight, basically. So this is the almost finished look of the golden snitch. You can just leave it like this if you want and you don't have pigments or if you use the metallic colors in the first place. But as you're gonna see, I'm just gonna add my, my metallic pigments on it. And what I'm gonna use is just a cheap elf brush. It was like a dollar. And I'm using these eyeshadow pigments from NYX, which they're both maybe $8 for both of them. They're one of my favorites, to be honest. Even I prefer them even over mica powder or Perlix powders. Just make sure to not use a lot of it because these are really pigmented. This is a translucent sort of um, yellow golden sheen to it. It looks so much better in real life, trust me. And I'm just gonna use this on both the wings and the golden snitch because I told you it's a little translucent so you can put it on any color and just gonna give it a sheen. So this is the finished look of my golden snitch. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Here I'm just showing how you can put a wooden skewer in it so that you can put it on your cake and make sure it's gonna stay there. If not, you can just leave it as it is. Well, thank you for watching this and I really hope you enjoyed it.